Greetings to all the viewers. Welcome to our presentation video. We are from group number nine. My name is Doran Rusli with student number 19190365 and my two colleagues name. My name is Farhan Febianti with student number 19190338. And my name is Ansel Anandia with student number 19190369. And through this video, we will bring up quite an interesting topic, especially for those who like to vacation and tourism, because the topic is about wildlife tourism. We choose one of the most unique tourist destinations in Madagascar, and before we get through it, let's talk about the wildlife tourism first. What is wildlife tourism? Wildlife tourism is an element of the travel industry that focuses on observing and interacting with wild animals and plants in their natural habitats. It can be said that wildlife tourism has a very positive impact on environmental conservation and also helps shift the livelihoods of local communities. As Madagascar is popular about the wildlife tourism, we find it interesting to talk about one of the sites. It's Singi de Bemaraha National Park. Singi de Bemaraha National Park is a nature reserve in the form of forest made of karst rocks. which is the largest karst rocks forest in the world that occurs naturally in the national park in Northwest Madagascar in an area of Melaki. This area is 1,500 square meter large. This tourist attraction is home to a large number of endemic flora and fauna species that can only be found in Sinji, such as lemurs, deer, a rare mammal that resembles a mongoose, squirrels, various types of reptiles and birds. Even rare birds like the African albatross can be found here. Because of its uniqueness and wealth, this national park was designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1990. Sinji de Bemaraha has always been a favorite destination for tourists especially for those who like adventure. Even though it's quite dangerous, there is no need to worry because Sinji de Bemaraha National Park also provides access in the form of bridges and footpaths for those who want to see the uniqueness of this stone forest. To get to this park, you have to drive from Morondava City on the west coast of Madagascar to Sinji de Bemaraha with an unpaved road. After that, you also have to take a raft made of pirog wood to cross the two quite wide rivers. After completing the second, second crossing, you will arrive at a small last village named Bekopaka. There are lots of local guides who can take you to Sinji the Bemaraha Park. To climb the rock Sinji is not easy. You have to put on the complete climbing equipment and start climbing the rock that's standing upright. It takes about three hours to reach the top of the Rocky Mountain of Sinji the Bemaraha. In this national park, uh, they are always open during the summer from April to November and will be closed during the rainy season from middle November and to early April for safety reasons. The entrance tickets to this national park are packed at around 25,000 Madagascar area or 100, 105,000 rupees. For one day and for today, it costs 37,000 Madagascar area or 155,000 rupiah in Indonesia. In this national park, we can also do several outdoor activities such as trekking. The PPT, please. Sorry. such as trekking and heritage hikes 
overlanding holidays, watching the landscape, wildlife, culture, and uh, local people, wildlife adventure, such as see rare and exotic and beautiful animals in their natural habitats. Yeah, that's all that we like to share in this presentation. We hope you enjoy, and if you have questions, please ask in the comment column. Thanks for listening, and bye.